Do you recall that night out by the pier? The one we shared together when we were 16. That was 192 cycles of the moon ago. It was full that night. And Scorpio, if I remember correctly, oh, I remember the velvet incantation of your lips as they pressed against mine and the solemn tone you took with me. And my fingertips graced the hair of your inner thigh. That was a different world we lived in back in. <clears throat> One where we had to sneak off to the edge of the pier, there where even the junkies couldn't see us. Oh, and I don't think they'd go down there because they was afraid that they would get on the edge of some bad trip, fall off into the edge of the water. Love. Sometimes they'd run around that place like the devil himself had come down to St. Mary's and was chasing them. Mama always expected me to become a cleric, take the collar and never look back, she said. It was her vision of who I was. It's what I was raised to be. different world we lived in back then. And I didn't know how to stop it from pulling me in two different directions. Between the collar and you. I didn't know where I was going and where I had been. And I know you remember just why that night down by the pier was different. We knew we could make a living and get our way there, seeing as both our daddies was fishermen. Huh, say, ain't that funny? I was either gonna be a fisherman or a fisher of man. <laughs> the options don't get much slimmer than that. You said yes. A million times, yes. And I was so focused on you in front of me, on the sweet kisses we was exchanging. That I didn't hear the boat. Mama. I know it. Mama, I can explain. I thought you was running off with that Beckman girl. Any girl. 
but a boy. I love him, Mama. We're running away together, and you can't stop us. The hell I can't. She found us. Before I knew it, I was on my way to a boarding school up north. It was one of them Augustine places. Hold, draft, damp. One of them places they send young boys to help them become priests. I remember the Appalachian hills around it. And I remember running through them woods, nine to nothing, soft earth and thirty years of leaves neath our feet. Our hands joined in a greater union than I had ever had with God. I always cherished them weekends. You could sneak away and drive up to see me. To see in the face of God in my dark night of the soul. Twelve cycles of the moon later. And I was off to seminary. You promised you'd come visit me whenever you could, but I think we both knew that that wasn't going to be very often. You wrote letters when you could. I replied when I could. But after a while, things just naturally broke off between us. I don't think it was anybody's fault. I just think that it's the way that God works sometimes. Because because I know, my heart of heart and within my soul of souls, that if you have been there, if you have been able to come visit me even one time, I wouldn't be where I am today. I wouldn't, I wouldn't know who I was. I would have given it up. Made me have to choose. But I don't have to choose anymore. I don't have to choose anymore. And looking at you standing here just bubbles. Glorious to the top of my throat. I thought I was going to be singing requiems over you until the day I died. Here you are. Here you are. Here you are. Here I am. Can I sing to you like I used to? Please. Salve Regina Mater Misericordiae Please, Lord,